beautiful outside. I forgot I parked my car <laughs> on the side of the hotel. Beautiful view, holy crap. Also had a conversation with a guy at the counter. He was visiting on business. She, he was doing something with the lady at the counter and then the lady went to the back room and then he just turned around and stared at me. He literally just turned around and just looked right at me. I looked right, ba right back at him and I was like, how's it going? He's like, good. And then he just kept looking at me, but he wasn't saying anything. He just was looking at me. All right, wow, dude. Honestly, this is probably one of the most beautiful sun sunrises I've seen in a long time. Holy crap. <laughs> this is so nice. Say goodbye to liberal Kansas, everybody. What a send off. Say goodbye. Probably the last time we will ever be in liberal Kansas. I'll be, I'll be honest with you guys. I don't really intend on coming back unless it's for memories, but wow. We're actually headed to Garden City first before we go back to the Airbnb, but uh, we got to pick up some groceries. I'll be back in two seconds. I'm probably gonna forget to buy like 15 things. Awkward moment leaving the grocery store. Um, a special needs kid was working at the self checkout <laughs> and I got all my crap and I was walking out and I walked by him. He was facing the other, he, was, he wasn't facing towards me. He was facing away from me and I walked by him and he said, have a good day, sir. And so I thought he was talking to me and so I naturally turned around and I said, have a good day. And he wasn't talking to me, he was talking to the guy behind me. And I and I audibly went, mm, like that. <laughs> you know, when awkward stuff like that happens, you gotta realize I'm never gonna see these people again. You're never gonna see any but any of these people. None of these people I will ever see again, so who cares? But in the moment it just feels uh it's just you know, it just kills you inside a little bit. Baby. It's the worst day of the week for me. Have to do laundry. So what, a, what an inconvenience. Also, my host left me more snacks. So I'm gonna have to eat all these. I'm gonna have to finish all these today by today. Definitely taste the zinc and vitamin D. This must be healthy. After an hour and a half of wanting to stab myself with a sickle, finally filed my tax return. <laughs> and I'm getting money back, baby. We're getting money back. And I'm taking all that money and I am going to home. I'm going home. <laughs> my biggest fear when filing taxes is that I mistyped a number and I was like, I'm like $50 off and the IRS is gonna come to my door and with FBI agents are gonna point guns at me and throw me on the floor and arrest me and sentence me to 30 years in federal prison with no parole and take all my assets and ruin my entire life. Does anybody else have that fear when filing taxes? <laughs> Holy freaking crap, dude. You can't really see outside. Holy crap. A lightning strike literally just hit right, like literally right on the other side of this. Somewhere over there, literally right over there. I heard a, like a, like that and instantly, like a, the loud, like a gunshot. I am surprised the power did not just go out. Holy crap. Okay, oh, good. Uh, tornado warning in this area until 5.45 p.m. Tornado warning for 12 minutes. Dude, it looks eerie outside. I don't know what to do, like, there's no basement. Oh, gosh. Okay, why is this window not opening? Oh my gosh, dude, look at outside. 
Oh my gosh, this is bad. Please protect my car. Please protect my car. Just going to sit in the bathroom here. Dang, dude. <laughs> I gotta get out of Kansas. I don't like this. I really don't like this. So for the next eight minutes, we just gotta hope that nothing bad happens. Dude, this sucks. Please protect my car, please. The thing that sucks is if there's a tornado, I can't even, I won't even be able to see. Look at that, dude. Gosh, dude, it looks so, <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> the funniest thing is I'm looking here and it's supposed to, <laughs> it's supposed to snow on Thursday, okay? We go from tornado warnings to snow. Okay, got a lot. Oh wow, I got, look at, dude. Look at how much lighter it got outside. Holy crap, I think, hopefully we're good. I don't know. I didn't realize how dark it got. I thought it was just becoming nighttime. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, ah. Oh. Crap. Honestly, this sucks, dude. I... I think the tornado warning's over, but that really sucks. So, and it looks like hopefully our car has no... I mean, I don't think our car has any damage, but... This... This really puts a damper on our mood. This is a uh, balsam forest. Oh my gosh, that's really... Okay. Our only source of light, we're back in the dark ages. <laughs> okay, that's actually not that funny because I am here by myself. So it's kind of, I, I creep myself, I'm creeping myself out a little bit. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Because that's a rule. When you light candles, no matter what kind of candle it is, you have to sing happy birthday. All right, cool. <laughs> All right, bye. <laughs> We did it. I knew it. I knew we could do it. I had confidence in us. I had confidence in the team. I told them, I said, hey guys, listen, I know we're in difficult situations, but at the end of the day, we've been training for this all year. We've been, that's all we've been training for. It's this moment right here. And the team pulled through right as I was getting done with yoga. Ding dong, ping pong. Somebody gets the ping pong table out and we're smacking around the old ping pong balls. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure where that came from. All right, you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have fun. Be safe. Take notes. In, in, if you're in school. And study.